Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the Spiritual Justice Gym. I'm Goddess Pinda, or you can call me Pinda. You can want to do. I answer to both. Let's get into this reading. I'm gonna just jump straight in. I just want to say, um, because I'm shuffling the cards, that's why I'm going to. Um, I'm just gonna say, it's somebody energy I was feeling really heavy. This person is highly projecting their energy onto me. And I wish they would stop. Please stop projecting your energy onto me. It's like really exhausting. This person feels lost, don't know what to do, have no ambition, have no drive. Because the person I'm channeling right now um, was uh, exposed in a way. And then um, they don't want to take accountability for their actions. So what they do is project their energy off of someone else. It came from the last reading I was reading. I didn't get like, I was like this before, but Spirit let me know. Is, is this person's energy? Like you got caught. Why not repent? I don't understand what's wrong with repenting. If repenting means simply turning from your ways that you know you hurt yourself or someone else. That's all that means. It's not hard. Own up to what you did. Accountability is a must when dealing with spirituality and when dealing with maturity. Go hand in hand. You must be accountable for your actions. And a lot of times, um, what can I say? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to... Um, Somebody's heavily projecting their energy onto me, and it's, it really sucks because they feel like drained, and they feel like um, life is over for them. They don't know what to do. It's like they're just sitting around the house, or sitting in the car, or just looking for something to give them life. And all you have to do is repent for what you did. Anyways, let me get into this reading. This person is really a miserable. You know what? I want to say that for me so bad. <laughs> Because if you guys can understand the energy that I'm feeling, you will understand that Ugh, it's heavy. Like, stop. Seriously, stop. Somebody could be burning. Their hand could be burning. Something about burning in this reading. I've seen a hand burning. Yeah, somebody's hand is on burn. Did somebody burn their hand or something? You, whoever I'm reading for me, you may have burnt your hand. Or your hand may feel like it's on fire. Or I'm getting some weird energy like that. I never picked it up like that before. Yeah, somebody's hand is on fire. Um, Somebody can't see their reflection is what I'm hearing too. I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> but I just picked it up. Somebody said they can't see their reflection. Mm, I have no clue what that means. Oh, uh, here we go again. These people are doing this negative energetic work on these moon cycles. They never stop. This is like continuous. It really is. And I have to pick up on it. This is really continuous. It really is. Oh, uh, okay. So I thought this was a male energy. This is a, uh, uh, this is the reading um, part two left off from the last one. This one was a... If I was to do a part two, this would be it. Because this woman holding um, this woman holding a coin. Let's see what zodiac sign this woman is. This feminine energy is. What zodiac sign? Other person is putting up this feminine energy. It could be a Scorpio woman. Scorpio sun sign, woman or man. Take it how it resonates. But it's definitely feminine energy. Or let's see what other side we get. This is Scorpio woman's uh, spirit says. So this Scorpio woman is using her intuition around heartbreak. Somebody is heartbroken. Um, is this a female? This feminine energy. Is this feminine energy a female? This is feminine energy a female spirit. Nope, it's a male. It's a, it's a male who, who's in a feminine energy that's using their intuition around heartbreak. So this Scorpio man, 
for my so for my last reading, the Scorpio man is the one that's heartbroken and projecting this negative energy. Because again, here somebody is attacking somebody's uh, second chakra, which is their uh, you got your root chakra and then you have your uh, solar plexus chakra. Yeah, somebody is attacking somebody's solar plexus chakra, and uh, I'm sorry, that's not solar plexus. What's yo? My brain is really not. Let, um, let me do look up the seven main chakras real quick because I don't want to give nobody no false information. It used to be one of my fears, and then I'm like, I could just look it up a lot. <sighs> let me just look it up because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. Yeah, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus is the the one, the third one. Your sacral chakra is, is your sexual chakra, your creativity. So that's what I was feeling. Somebody's projecting onto me um, with sexuality and um, basic like creativity. Somebody don't want me to put out messages. And then I'm picking up two energies here because I had the darnest time shaking myself off to do this reading. Somebody is doing this. Let me see. Ask here. Yep, I thought so. I, I, I'm gonna just start trusting myself all the way. Um, yeah, there's somebody's doing this low vibrational spell work, doing moon cycles like each day, each night. Like if you're asleep, they're doing moon cycles for on your sacral chakra for you not to be creative, for you not to be sensual or sexual. Okay, um. See, I pick up the community of people is being happy and healing. Okay, this Scorpio man that's coming up as a, a, a feminine is doing negative energy to work on, on a particular person to make them not be able to be create, creative and sexual. So basically, they're trying to close up someone's sacral chakra, basically. And they're doing this on moon cycles. That's just what I'm picking up. That's why somebody's hand looks like it's on fire. Because the orange, the sacral chakra has to do with your hand chakra. And, okay. Oh, thank you, spirit. Um, so they don't want you to be able to write something to be able to. Um, so somebody might be astral traveling into your, your home or something. And know that you're writing a journal or something like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, they feel like they're unstar. They, they feel like the person they're doing this to is unstoppable. So they're trying to slow them down. That's the most they can do. Let's see. Yeah, they think they're clever. And they they doing this to you because they think you're not good enough for this position or good enough for. Let's see what it is. No, they feel like they're not good enough and they're crying. <laughs> they thought they were clever. <laughs> they're projecting their insecurities. Like I said, from the, it's just a projection of... This is... I hate reading energy like this. And they're trying to say their HIV is a new beginning. <laughs> For them, they, they're trying to put out this confident personality and they're trying to be one with themselves they're trying to it seems like they're trying to heal themselves why are you trying to heal yourself when you project a negative energy on someone else that's all i understand how are you trying to heal yourself if you're projecting negative energy onto someone else let me see oh they're trying to okay spirit says for the person that this energy is projecting being projected on that you're one with god and this, you are in your destiny, and your angels want you to know they have your back. Um, all you got to do is ask for their help. Yep. One, two, three, four came out, meaning that this is confirmation you're ascending. And your money is going to be A OK. So if you're worried about money and you're the one that's being, this energy is being protected, you're projecting on, just know it's being cleared out. And just know each night before you go to bed and in the morning when you wake up. Just clear, just ask for uh, transmutation or do some kind of transmutation of this energy. 
I'm pretty much strong enough to endure it, which I don't like enduring it because I like being my happy energy, but it does affect me. So I got to do some clearing too. I got up today and took a spiritual bath. So that really, really helped. Um, yeah, that really, really helped. That's why I'm coming up out of this. Like, ugh, I feel, I, I feel like I'm heavy. Like I don't know where I was going, and I have a bunch of goals and stuff that I'm working towards. So I'm like, why am I feeling this way? Because this energy that was projected onto me while I was sleeping last night, this person do it at night underneath the moon cycle. That's why they need the moon cycle. They don't necessarily have to go in the moon and do it or use the moon, but they do it when like at a peak of a moon or at 12 o'clock at night or at three o'clock in the morning, at four o'clock in the morning. This is what this person does. This sun Scorpio male that's in his feminine energy. And he's heartbroken. Spirit, is somebody coming out as a Scorpio on purpose? Are they cloaking their energy on purpose? Is this person cloaking their energy on purpose? I feel like this person is cloaking their energy. Is this person cloaking their energy? No. Spirit said it's not a cloaking. No, it's not. They're not cloaking their energy. So. So I was trying to figure out who was doing this to me. I know the corporate. Oh, God. I got a kid with this, this gentleman <laughs> that's projecting all this illusion lies. This person is, is projecting illusion and lies around me. Um, and this may be happening to my collective, too. I'm recording this because I asked for messages from my collective. So something, it got to be coinciding with somebody else, too going through the same thing or somebody is going through what I'm going through and you're going to come across this message and hear it. Yeah. It's my child's father. <laughs> He's doing this on the cycles and he do have a lot of feminine energy. Yeah. I'm not surprised. He's trying to. Okay. So he's messing with. So this person, this particular energy is messing with my, um, sacral chakra and my intuition, my third eye. Um, in my love life, this is what this person is doing, and it's a collective of people that is maybe happy that, that he's doing this. They telling him he to do this. They congratulate him to do this because they feel like it's gonna bring him healing and happiness for them to do this. This is such that. Yeah. I don't know who spirit. Let me make sure. These, is someone telling this person to do this? Is someone advising this person? It's a community of people advising this person to do this. Yep. I, I, I just wanted to make sure I was feeling what I was feeling. I was seeing what I was seeing. Somebody advised this person to do this. This is really. <laughs> this that can't get right energy, y'all. I'm out. Peace.